Alright, this is Orc 455, the beginning of a short story arc that is well known, but hasn't actually been read by that many people. This is the one where Orc becomes Armageddon's jockey. And I think a big reason this isn't brought up all that much is because, well, firstly, it has never been collected. And secondly, we have this story that in other circumstances would have been a lot longer and bigger, whereas this is pretty quickly over and done with. Here, we are putting Hulk up against the excellent men. And we get off to a great start because we have my favourite and what should be your favourite too, the Gatefold recap page. There's not all that much you need to know other than in another issue... In a Wolfman issue, maybe, I think. Hulk lost a fight to Wolfman. And this picks up from there with Wolfman carrying the unconscious Hulk to the excellent men house. Didn't ask how he lugged Hulk all the way from the Savage Land to Westchester. Uh, this is the mid-90s Excellent Men. So we have got Cannonballs, Cyclist, Storms, and down here is Cables. There's a pretty funny running joke on these pages where the team all immediately react to Wolfman bringing Hulk there. By expressing concern that Hulk will wreck their mansion. They phone up Fog because Fog can help out. He can bring or create a magic gun or summit to deal with Hulk. Then we cut away and at first I forgot I was reading at Hulk comic and thought this was boring Myra McDonald but it is actually Liv Tyler or Jennifer Connolly Oak's girlfriend I didn't think harsher words could be directed at her than I initially thought she was boring Myra so Oak he is off in a psychic mental fantasy thing constructed by cables to keep him sedated when he is being restrained by the excellent men. Wolfman is against this and reckons that they should treat Oak with respect rather than holding him against his will. But Hulk, he has been going on rampages lately and the excellent men intend to stop him from doing so again. But Hulk, he breaks out from confinement straight away because he is the mother flipping Hulk. We have a subplot with Dickie Jones and his Granddaughter from the future. Comics will always be nonsensical to new readers, won't they? So it's Hulk versus the Excellent Men. And we have this great visual bit with Hulk walking through cyclists' eye lasers. But he's like walking through them rather slowly. This is much better than in World War Hulk. When they didn't even phase him. 
and he just reaches out and grabs Cyclist's head and can smother them with his bare fist. Cables tries to use his psychic powers. There was a story about ten issues before this where Hulk fought Cables. So that is all acknowledged there. This phase of Hulk, this personality or persona or whatever you want to call it, this is Savage Hulk. It's what I would say is the classic Hulk. He is half dumb, half angry, but not totally stupid or mindlessly raging. It's kind of more like Hulk, the way you often see him in Defender stories. Like, here, he's not a div kid. He susses out that they were trying to hoodwink him with the danger room. And Fog arrives. This was when Fog was leading the Suicide Squad's rip-off. Which made me think, I want to see Hulk versus Sabreclaw. I cannot think of a single comic where we have gotten to see that dead obvious pairing. I mean, come on, you do the cover and you have it be a homage to Wolfman's first appearance. But with Sabreclaw in his place... I'm skipping that page because it has the all being useful. Hulk, he is transported away during battle, mysteriously teleported away. And we have a really bad and uneven double revelation here. You see Liv Tyler or Jennifer Connolly is confronted by a mysterious shattered figure and then Hulk he is also confronted by a mysterious shattered figure and this doesn't work because we only spent two pages with Liv Tyler or Jennifer Connolly anyway it is her dad he is alive again it's the singer from Arrowsmith, or an asthmatic clothing designer from Brooklyn. And also, Armageddon, he has taken Hulk prisoner to make him into his new jockey. Great image here, and all around, a very enjoyable and entertaining comic. High quality stuff, I definitely would recommend this. But looking at the cover now, we never really got to see cannonballs or even storms fight Hulk. So I can only give this a rating of seven thumbs up. <laughs>